Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to another Jurassic Park video here on the channel. Now today's video is going to be this really great item by Mattel and it is the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now first glance this thing looks phenomenal. I have watched a few reviews, seen pictures online, and I cannot wait to get into this box and show everybody. Now uh, the look of this box, it is what we have been seeing with all the other Hammond Collection items that we've got like the Baryonyx, the Raptors all the stuff like that now we got a really nice window look of Rexy herself with the roaring pose we have Rexy well I wouldn't say Rexy we got the T-Rex right there on the bottom we have the Hammond Collection logo and I really do like how the bottom we got the silhouette of the trees top of the box there and then there is Rexy. Really cool image of her on the side with the Jurassic Park. And here she is again on the back of the box. So here is the code right here. If you guys need to track this on BrickSeek or anywhere, but you could probably use uh, the Target app. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing taken out of the packaging. assembly that we have is the tail so it is going to be a one-time assembly like uh, the rest of the stuff in the Mattel line so we just got to position it right and then just push it in and there we go so let's go ahead and get a look at this all right so here she is taken out of the packaging and all I can say is wow this has got to be my favorite uh, any kind of Jurassic toy that I own this has got to be my favorite one the detail the articulation it is just phenomenal I was not expecting this thing to be this great and like it so much so uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a look at some of the detail that is on this Rex I mean just get a look at that head sculpt the paint Everything is just great on this. Got so much detail in the skin. And we move on down to the rubber tail. And we still have the detail going on there. I even had to put a background behind my other background because this thing is just so big. Got detail in the hands and the, the finger claws, the toe claws, everything is painted on here, which is great. Let's turn this, the queen of Nublar around. And I just woke up, so I might sound a little weird. Another phenomenal paint job on this side. Uh, 
<clears throat> All right, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation that she does have. So it does have like a little squeaking going on right now, which I think it has to do with that middle section. And uh, yeah, so articulation wise here, let me, that should help. Her mouth opens just like that. You can move her tongue down in the down position if you would like. Let's close that back. We have articulation in the top part of the head, just like we had with the Extreme Chopping Rex. And then we have articulation right here, which it is a little restricted due to the rubber piece right here. But I mean, it is another point of articulation, which is always good. Move on down to the arms. So we got articulation right there at the elbow and at the wrist we have articulation oh mine just fell over so we have articulation right here as well which is the spot that mine fell at if it falls I'm not seeing any movement but I know some people have been having loose joints right here I mean I could probably make it fall I am touching it when you guys see it move I'm just seeing how far it will go down before it moves on its own I think it's going to be right there yeah so about halfway but uh one of the issues that I had when I was messing with this trying to mess with the articulation all right so I don't think my light's good right here hang on okay so I've been having issues right here, which I will show you. First time moving this, this thing popped off. <clears throat> and so that there is the inner workings of this piece right here. And a lot of people say that they could probably take this off and uh, fix that looseness that this Rex is having. But it seems like my issue that I had with this, there was no glue whatsoever on this piece, so that's why it came off. I've already contacted Mattel about it. But it just... Put it right back on, snap it in, but I am going to glue it. It is a super easy fix. All right, so we have the articulation, as you can tell, right here, which it is really squeaky. Move on down to the tail, which we have the articulation that moves around, just like all the other items that we have seen. Um, then we have articulation well I want to say articulation it does move around a little bit and I am kind of scared to move around this piece which is moving I just don't want it to pop off I don't know if it's supposed to move or not okay so we have movement in the feet, legs, which I am hearing a clicking thing right there. I don't think that is something that I have been getting on this one. 
Yeah, I don't have no clicking movement on this leg. It just, there's a groove right in this position where it stops. And we have articulation in the knees, which I absolutely love. Uh, this joint right here is super tight. So definitely be careful with that when you're trying to pose it. We have articulation right here in the lower leg. And then, of course, at the foot. Alright, so there is Rexy. I'm going to bring in uh, the Amber Collection Velociraptor. Or, not Amber Collection, the Hammond Collection Velociraptor. So yeah, just so you can see the size in this. So another thing that I'm going to be bringing in is the uh, extreme, extreme Chomping T-Rex mold, which was the first to use this uh, neck articulation for one of the molds, which for a while this was my favorite Rex, but it's definitely now this one. Alright, so just look at the size comparison. Now the extreme damage one, this one right up front, it was always more on the smallest, small side of the scale, which it still worked good with the three and three quarter inch, but it was still a little small. But this right here is how it definitely should be in the back. Just look at that. Really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring in Ian Malcolm from the Hammond Collection. So we're going to stick him right there just so you guys get a good idea on uh, how big this is compared to the uh, three and three quarter inch humans. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Ford Explorer from the Legacy Collection. Yeah, looks pretty great. Now I think I've already compared it to a Rex, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so it's been a while since I worked on this video. I ran out of uh, memory on my storage thing, so I am just going to wing it from here. I'm not sure what or why you did. But I just absolutely love the detail on this Rex. I mean, we have the rubber tongue. All this right here is rubber, which is really nice. Can see the eye right there we have nice range of movement on here which this is probably my favorite Jurassic Park Jurassic World whatever anything Jurassic in my collection this has got to be my favorite one it it is just looking phenomenal only downside I have of this would be you know the breaking of this part right here which I am going to try to fix that um sometimes the joint can be a little loose right here in the foot and right here so depending on the pose that you have it in it might fall down now this she has been in this pose uh, I want to say man maybe five days and she has not fell yet Yeah, I really like the pose that I have her in right here.
all right guys so i think i'm going to go ahead and end this video uh go ahead and try to edit to see what all i missed doing this review since i had to do it in sections um yeah comment below on if you're going to be picking this up from uh, target or any other online exclusive retailers this might be showing up on so yeah thanks for uh, watching hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed